Hi, I'm Hank. Today we're busting beaver dams. Over there, about a mm, mile and a half is the beach. I didn't know that beavers actually got so close to the beach. Damn right there. Yeah, look at this. Let's take a look at where these beaver dams are and we'll watch Tommy uh, do a little bit of work. Maybe he'll let me jump on that mini excavator a little bit. Tommy, you gonna let me jump on that a little bit? Sure. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we got to work with here today. You can just see out in this field how they've got it. There's a big dammed up area there. This is a dam here. We'll take care of that. What the owners are concerned about is this area right here. This is actually a culvert under here, and the beavers have it dammed up. They want us to clean that up, or they want Tommy to clean that up. That it right there. And look how dry it is over here. Here's the pipe. So we're going to open that up, let the water flow out here where it's supposed to. There's a dam right there. All right, we're going to get that too. So now that we're here... We're going to go ahead and get the mini excavator unloaded and get to working on this. It's pretty, it's pretty unbelievable damage what these beavers can do in such a short amount of time. But hopefully we get it uh, taken care of. Some people think it's a never-ending battle. You know, you, you get rid of one dam and then they just come back the next night or the same night that you got through working on the dam you get rid of in the first place and they build another one. Those little, those little boogers are, are nasty. And there's not a lot of people that like them, you know what I mean? The pin for this thumb came out on this side, so we had to find some safety wire. Maybe that'll hold it. need a pair of pliers. Yeah, let me get you a pair of pliers. Hold on a second. So we're basically just trying to rig up with something to maybe prevent it from coming back out again. Yeah, there you go. Until we can get to the store to buy a clip for it. And maybe that'll work. We twisted it as much as we could. We'll see. See what happens. Field repairs. You gotta love them. All right, so he's going to go back up there now and get it off the trailer. trying to find the top of that pipe so he don't mess up the culvert that's already existing so he's trying to finesse it a little bit until he finds it Right there at his thumb is the edge of the pipe. There he goes. You're in the pipe. You can see this is the edge of the pipe here. Just a trickle of water, so we're gonna go keep digging. I could literally watch this all day. It's mesmerizing to me. You know, to have a trenching bucket on there, I think does pretty good. Just imagine how much work we could get done if it had a real bucket on there. 
kind of moving along now. For those of you wondering why he's not using the thumb, well, the solenoid or something, the switch is broke on the joystick for the thumb. That's why we're not using it. There's the blocked up side there. So as we turn around, it's hard to look at the screen and do this at the same time. But there's the other side. So now he's making a way for the water to escape. After much circuitry and tomfoolery, we figured out there's a short in that switch. But if you hold your mouth this right, you press that, you know, you gotta you gotta activate that thumb first. Well we got it, we got it where it's kind of stable now, where at least we got the thumb raised back out of the way. That was that was really you know more important than having it in the way. So the problem with a culvert being dammed up is the fact that we don't know how deep the trash goes into the culvert itself. And so now he's just trying to stick his bucket up there as far as it'll go. But man, you, I mean, you know, you can't, you need a big, some type of penetrating rod of some sort. Because you look on this side and it's still not flowing at all. Just a little trick of like it was before we even got here. So what we're going to try now is actually to find a tree to take down and then use it as a pole of some sort to stick it through the culvert pipe. That's where he's going now. That's one way to take up a tree, ain't it? Look how wet. Man, the, the damage these beavers do is just insane. I mean, we got water all the way up through there. I should have brought my chainsaw. I do have experience at felling trees, you know. <laughs> He'll break it in half now. It's a little more manageable. Now we just shove that in there like a, a, a jamming, a rod of some sort, to try to break it free. Sometimes you gotta improvise, you know, when you're trying to get these situations taken care of. Make do with what you got. Get everything in order. Now watch him drop it and then twist it around of some sort. He'll try to finagle it so that he can move it around. And if he had a rotobeck grapple right now, like my buddy Cotton Top has, He'd be able to get it done, wouldn't he? Now he should have turned to the left, I think. Now he's got it. Yeah. There you go. I think he's got it now. All right, let's see what we got going on over here. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Success. Ain't that cool? All right. Hey, listen, you can get it done now. Oh man, it is it's going to it. Now look at all the debris coming out of there. Holy moly. Yeah, you sorry beavers. Take that. Yeah, it's rushing good now. Let's go see what the other side looks like. Oh yeah. Look at that. Try with old man, you learn something. <laughs> 
Good job, Tommy. You can get, you can get rafting down this side. Holy cow, look at that. Yeah, that's looking good. Give it a few minutes to drain here. Now you're going to take some of the dirt off that root ball right there. And take this tree out of the way. Wow, look at all that. But to be honest with you, it's, it's really pretty, <laughs> I guess you'd say. It's mesmerizing. I've already said that once in this video. But you can just see, wow. It's pretty neat how that does that. Starting to flow nicely down that way. I'm gonna pick up this big old pine tree. It's about dead though. Uh oh. Need a little more weight in that rear end, I guess. Oh, he's just gonna move it out of the way, I guess. Yeah, he just appears to be dragging it out of the way. That's a strong mini excavator. Now that Tommy's through digging up the actual culvert part itself, I'm gonna jump in there and clean out the ditch a little bit, give me some more seat time on that mini excavator, try to get a little more experience in it. This thing, I don't know, it's got a mind of its own. Hopefully I can get it smooth and not fall in the ditch. Y'all stand by. He's got one more spot up here he's cleaning out. Let it drain a little bit. You can see the big hole inside the dirt road here. He'll clean that up a little bit and allow all this to drain. What a mess. I don't know how good this shows up, but you can see there's probably, I don't know, maybe a foot tr trench that goes right here. You can see the sand, the trench, and then the sand over there. So the water's flowing across here. He'll clean all that up and let it go across. Some brother-in-law he is. They way down there and left me out here. I gotta walk. <laughs> I sent her, I called him on the phone. I was like, bro, come get me. So let's, see. oh, there he comes backing up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He come got me. My turn. What do you say, Tommy? Hey. So we're cleaning that dam out right there? Yep. Okie dokie. Let me show you how experts do it. <laughs> Walking this thing down the road through that green button right there? Yeah. That's rabbit. 
Oh, that's for it. Gotcha. Okay. Might come up some. Hope y'all can see all right. that thumb now we got figured out that tree's in my way might have to back up so let's see watch this boom over here Yeah, just imagine if we had a bigger bucket what we could do. I need to get proficient to where I can do both functions at the same time, you know what I mean? There you go, like that. And then pull it in while I withdraw. You know, that would make me quicker. What's it look? You all right? You're gonna scare me. I, I... Maybe, huh? I miss this tree. Yep. Still got to work on the release part over here. I ain't quite figured that part out yet. now you want some more of that yeah okay okay yeah I was just wondering if I okay you find out that if you do two functions if you do the left and right joystick at the same time the, the machine doesn't bounce if I do a single function on a single joystick, the machine bounces. So I'm trying to some, somewhat do it. See how smooth? Now watch this. I got both joysticks working there. And it, the machine's a little smoother. Whoops. Maybe a couple more hours I have it. A little more uh, finesse to my touch, huh? It wouldn't splatter as bad if I put it a little lower to the ground. Well, that's a nice one. Got to incorporate the thumb with that a little bit. Is that right? 
shove them two piles off of them on the roof. Okay. Let's try something a little uh, advanced here. Huh? How about that? <laughs> now let's see if I can angle the blade some. on that it's not very fast is it oh it's hitting the it's hitting the handrail over here let me see what I can do here I don't know if this is the right way to do it or not. Let's see. That's probably good enough right there. What y'all think? pipe to clean over here this culvert is stopped up like the other one was over there so we'll get this cleaned up he'll take care of that and then the water will flow through this canal here y'all i didn't have my camera rolling when i about got clotheslined by these <laughs> by these ropes here holding this deer stand on deer blind shooting house i got a bunch of different names for them that's a nice one too it's way up there Hey, listen, I appreciate you guys tagging along today while I pretended to be a heavy equipment operator, okay? You guys take care. I'll catch you on the next one. Check our links out below for all the equipment and T-shirts and stuff like that that we have, okay? God bless you guys.